How do ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's Yorkshire Blazing here and today I've got a very special video for you this is a guest review of the Victorinox Swiss Champ so let's get into the video first of all I want to thank my mate Joel Ford uh, for sing sending this to me um, he knew I liked the knife and he said why don't you review it so thank you mate for that so let's go into the specs and dimensions this knife. So before I get into um, what's inside of it, uh, let's just go over some basic dimensions. So the height of this knife is 33mm, the length is 91mm and the weight is 185 grams. That is a hefty thing to have in your pocket. It is certainly a really heavy knife. You can hold it on my hand, I can feel it. And having that in my pocket if I put it in my back pocket, it weighs it down significantly. Normally these would come with a sheath. I don't know if he still has it or not, but uh, typically it would come with a leather sheath. So, this Swiss Army Life calls it the ultimate companion for indoor and outdoor life, which with the tools it has on it is certainly true. It is a Swiss made pocket knife with 33 functions. So that is a lot to have on here. It is basically a Leatherman but in the size of a, mold, of a basically of a pocket knife. So let's do a size comparison. This is it compared to the camper. So it's the same size as a camper in length and in height. It is the tenacious is smaller or bigger. And let's do I'll open the blazer and that'll be a bit better. Open the main blade up. Here we have a Icel Gentleman. So as you can see, it is quite a standard knife um, for uh, the Tornox. It's just a reasonable sized pocket knife to easily slip in your well, pocket. Um, the blade is less than two inches, so it is UK legal to carry. There are no locking functions on this knife. So let's get into the functions of this Swiss Champ. By the name of Swiss Champ, this is what every collector should have. This is the flagship of Swiss Army Knife. This is the epitome of the greatest Swiss Army Knife. And I don't have one, so I really need to get one of these. Uh, it will cost you £80. You can get um, various um, functions. You get the silver tech ones, which are a bit more expensive. And there's a blue one, there's a red one, and there's the various other colours of this. So, as you can see, we have your large blade. We have your small blade here. So we have two blades. I'll go into the sizes of those in a minute. On the main blade, it says Victorinox Switzerland Stainless Rost Rost uh, Ferry. It's, uh, it's not going to zoom in. My cameras are quite shit like that. And on the back, Officer Suisse. On small blade it has nothing on it the next function of this knife I'll open the main blade up we have a file with some serrations on here very fine very serrations not very sharp at all and we also have here at the end um, a fingernail cleaner well that's what I can guess it's for what does the our um, yeah, it's a nail file, so it will have the, um, uh, that's for your fingernails. That's what I can guess from it. Nail cleaner, yeah, so I was correct. But I didn't want to make a statement. Uh, we have a wood saw, very sharp. I mean, these are very, very good wood saws to have on you. Even though they don't lock, they are very useful. Uh, I need to do a video testing one of those. What else do we have? We have this saw. Um which I believe is either the what sort of, maybe the metal saw and the prong there I am not sure what the prong is um, they will look on here yeah so this is the metal saw I believe and it has um, th 
three inches, well not three inches, it's 2.8 inches marked on there from the tip to the bottom. I think that's the metal, uh, so I'm not sure, do not count, take me a call on that one. If you if you know, let me know in the comments. We have the scissors, excellent pair of scissors on a spring, well like a little metal spring you press down, so it's good to have some scissors. We have pliers, again on the same system, you can hear that thud, in it. that's a very satisfying securing thud. None of these have a half stop, just to let you know, so you've got it open fully. We have a Phillips screwdriver. This does have a half stop though. And we also have a magnifying glass. No half stop at all. There we are. That needs a bit of a clean up. What I'll do for you, mate, if you're watching, just clean up all the gunk on the blade. And just give it a general service, really. Can open it with a flathead screwdriver and bottom open it with a half stop flathead screwdriver, wire bender, and stripper, and also a wire cutter, as you could say. We do have a little ring here to attach on your keychains, but um, I don't think you want to do that. I don't understand this with the these heavy Swiss Army knives and the bigger ones, uh, but you have this ring, maybe it's for you can put it on your neck, but you don't really want to do that, just slip it in your pocket. Be good as for some knife, make it a modern knife with a pocket clip on. That would be a good thing to see. Just a single bladed pocket clip knife. That would be cool. Victor Knox, do it. Um, next here we have the awl, the reamer. We have a hanging hook, a gut hook, if I believe that is what it is. A looking. Sorry. Now I know what everything is now. If we go back, so that's just a gutting hook or a hanging hook. Um, this, that's the wood saw. The, this one is the metal file and the metal saw. Getting that right. But you can also use that as a nail file. One side is for the nails, one side is not one for the wood. Um, for the metal, sorry. This is a scaling fish scaler. And the prongs uh, is a hook disgorger, I believe. I think if I think that I think I've got that one right. Next, this little weird device appears to be another flattered screwdriver, or the nail clean. Yeah, either a nail clean or a flattered screwdriver. That is the multi-purpose hook. I got that wrong, but you can also use it as a gut hook, I believe. And finally, well, not really finally. If I can get it out here. This is the chisel, quite sharp. Mm. However, I don't like that. You're gonna push that. I don't like how the the chisel is there. That's just uncomfortable to use because you either you hold it like that. I'm not sure. Um, big crap, but next we, which is good to have, we have um, a bottle opener, corkscrew, with a very small precision uh, screwdriver. Now this is useful, just put it in the corkscrew, the only problem is you might be able to lose it, but uh, you never know, it's a handy thing to have. So overall the knife is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pillar construction. This middle one here which I'm pointing to, the one that's flat out, that does, does nothing, that's just halving the that's what supports halving the construction of the whole Swiss champ. So, the scale material, I should point that out, is an ABS study door plastic, um, which is good to know now what it actually is. So this is a cellar door ABS plastic. Um, it does scratch quite a bit. As you can see, there's a few scratches on here. Um, I'm not sure what he uses it for, but it's in good condition, I would say. Just a bit of gunk on the main blade which I've tried cleaning off with a bit of um, uh, alcohol, medicine alcohol, and it's fairly sharp. Mirror finish on both blades, and let me do the blade length. So the main blade is six centimeters, which in inches is 
5 for the cutting edge, altogether it is 2.7. The small blade is in centimetres, altogether it's around about 4.2, 4.3, and in inches, sorry, 4.3 centimetres, yeah, and in inches it is roughly about 1.9 inches. So UK legal, as I said, let's go in the pros and cons, and oh, I also forgot, you've got a pull point pen here, tweezers, no sorry, toothpick, and unfortunately the tweezers are missing. Um, so, let's, as I said, let's get into the good and the bad of this knife. Good thing is, you've got a load of cool devices, functions on there, to help you with nearly every single task you can possibly think of. You know, you can use it inside the house, the same, just for in the garage, doing some DIY or whatever, and you can use it outdoors as a camping knife, instead of carrying round you want single bladed uh, a medium an axe or a big size fixed blade you can use this uh, for your daily camp knife and have a axe or a very big um, fixed blade as your um, wood cutter or whatever for main tasks for wood processing it's a lovely looking knife you've got to I like Wasami knives they are, are very appealing to me and if you get it in the silver tech with transparent handle scales, you know, it makes it even more stunning. It's UK legal, which is always good to have. And if you get it with the sheath, yeah, it's lovely. You have it on your belt, you don't need to worry about it. The bad things about this knife, unfortunately, I do like a nice locking blade. And I think with such a heavy knife like this, with so many tusks on things to it, it'd be better to have it locking because it's just more reliable. Um, Another bad thing, it's very heavy, 185 grams, luckily if you have a belt sheet, you're not going to really feel that, but if you've got that in your pocket, then you're going to notice that after quite a while. Also, what I don't like about it is some of the functions aren't very practical to use. As I said about the chisel, how... No, that's not it. you got to hold it like this, or like that, when it's not practical at all. Also, you can hardly see... If you look here, you can hardly see the thumb ring for it to get it out. It's right behind this corkscrew, and it's very hard for me to actually lift it out without moving that, lifting that up, but also getting in the way of this and putting that back down. So, it'd be better without the chisel, but I can see it's just filling up a space in there, which is alright, but practicality-wise, no. Um... That's what I can really. The ABS um, handle scales they scratch up quite easily compared to the Silver Tech, which is a, it's not really a dig about the knife. It's just the quality the scales are used. I know it's plastic. I know it was scratch, unlike G10. I know my I sell here has a few scratches on, but not as many as that. So Swiss Art Victorinox could have used some more heavy duty plastic that's a bit more scratch resistant. Maybe would have been better, I believe. But, you know, I'm not the designer, I'm not the company who makes them. So overall, this is a decent quality knife. Is it worth the £80? No, I don't think it is. Um, I think maybe about, it's on £79 actually, so about £80. Quid. I would say I would pay 60 to 70 for it, if it was me. I, I just don't think it's, it hasn't got a locking blade. Some of the functions aren't really useful. Uh, that chisel, what are you going to use that for, really? Um, unless you're doing something majorly fine, there's no point of having it. And just getting some of them out, again, the um, matter of file, that is so low down there, and if you've got big hands, you're going to struggle getting this out. A pocket clip would have been good on it, but that goes against the traditional Victor Lock style. So, it's just a few functions on that I don't really like about it, but overall, it is a fantastic knife. It is a Swiss Army knife, so it is reliable, which and the um, service they have on these, you can send it back and for a, the warranty is great, you send it back, they can clean it up, replace the scales and you've got a generally brand new knife so I can't fault them there so if I have to give it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a good solid 7 I love the knife, I love Victorinox, it's just some of the functions I don't personally like so again, thank you very much Joel for sending this on to me, I will get this back to you I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did give it a big thumbs up, you can be more extreme than that, subscribe to my channel because it really helped me grow. I've been your one and only host for Yorkshire Blazeman, and I'll see you.